We're live in again in Minnesota with the JW Solar USA guys. This is what we have here. So today's video, I'm gonna show you what it is. We have a very mean weather today, and things are not going right the way they should. Very cloudy, cloudy, and just humid heat. So guys, um, we don't have enough solar coming in today, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how much I brought the batteries down and um, at a 300 amp hour battery bank, Sanyo Lithium, which is a Volkswagen e-Golf, is a 8.544 kilowatt lithium storage I have here. It's running on 24 volt, four in parallel, and four in parallel and series to give you the thing these are just designed 16 point something volt battery which is for a 12 volt battery each to parallel 12 at uh, 75 amp hours each this battery 75 amp hour each so parallel them four in parallel and four in parallel and series it for 24 volt that gives us the 300 amp hours okay so is is four would have been all uh, uh, uh um seventy five times four that would have given you a a three hundred like almost a six hundred if they're all in parallel for twelve volts is six hundred amp hour battery bank at eight point five four four kilowatt but well, series it now is gonna give you half of that which is a uh, uh, um uh um a 300 amp hour so this is what I did just want to give you guys how much I can bring my batteries down uh, sometimes I refuse just to charge them on the solar all the time because uh, the voltage is higher and um, you don't tend to accept more power and uh, it is just like trickle charge I want to recycle my batteries some people say recycling the batteries is not good how many revolutional or how many times you cycle your batteries but that's not the point here. I want to utilize, exercise, energize the batteries, not just being topped up all the time, topped up all the time. I energize them. So this is what I have here. So this is what we pull. Um, I can show you how many days we went before, before we go full charge. Look, six days. Let's look at this. Days since 100%. Look at that, six days, all right? Because of that six days, um, look, the amp hours we already took from the battery out of a 300 amp hour battery bank is uh, 214. I've seen higher than that. I brought it all the way to two, almost 230, 220, 230 at some point. So this is what it is. I just want to show you this Sanyo Volkswagen e-Golf batteries that came from the e-Golf vehicle. And this is what we're doing. So now what we're going to do, we're going to throw a charge into this because of the bad weather. It's not going to be topping off the batteries. So we can do the house is still running. Okay. We're sitting at 29% state of charge. 29. That's why when it comes to lithiums. Uh, the state of charge sometimes is useless. So it's the voltage. We're using the voltage on an off-grid solar system. And um, the state of charge, don't pay attention that much. Sometimes it says 80%. I said this now, 80%. Like any of the lithium, um, any of the um, silicon acid I had before. So the system, if I put it like on winter time, so they can bypass here with this uh, breakers here and um, start charging back the batteries because 80 percent will be healthy for agm or select the acid battery or uh, uh um uh, glass mat batteries you know which is gels and all that kind of stuff and um look at that we have a 29 percent some people say oh your batteries are dead but they are not dead let's go back and check the voltage 27.81 volt it just passed the nominal voltage of this battery. It just passed the nominal voltage. So if I do the calculation, it's going to probably give me a 3.4, 3. very close to 
just past about 3.5 the nominal voltage just after just after a little bit the nominal voltage okay that dead in to the nominal voltage so guys if you see the state of charge is going to be 29 percent i'm telling you how lithiums are really powerful so now what we're going to do we're going to be charging these batteries and throw some power into it at a 240 240 volt and see how everything works here live here at the jw solar usa stay tuned currently the house is pulling uh, seven amps freezers and freezer running and my wife is currently using um, uh, uh, um, a blender which is a food processor and um, it just stopped she just stopped right now so we pull in that so let's go back here and see on the AC is the DC on the AC that's the thing and it says that one amp is pulling at that um, on the AC load. Okay, so let's go back into the DC load. See, we just went back to 28. Like I told you guys, we are just on the nominal voltage on each cell if you divide that. And this is what we're going to be. We just write dead in. So, there's some load C. They just backed off. So, let's see here. What's the... the um, the DC side see it's pulling the four amps here okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna go back and go to the BM, BMK battery monitor kit and uh, 29 and see that and we're gonna be throwing some power before doing that let's go back to the AC side here we're gonna be seeing how many amps we're gonna be pushing in back to the batteries as we flip the switch here hey don't forget again guys i'm going to be giving you i'm almost past a one month when i install the two yard um uh, meter uh, which is inside here i have to pop this cover i'm going to be doing a review how many kilowatt hours we already took out of these inverters to power the house in a month time i'm going to give you the calculation i think it's supposed to be now uh um 34 days or something like that if 34 days is just over one month since last month so the month is going to be uh, last month was so since july has a uh, june has a uh, 30 days according to the 30 days september april june and november is 30 days so we i think we are now 34 days on the two yard that is inside here then we're going to be showing how many kilowatt hours we took from the inverters. For right now, we're going to flip the switch here. The video, after this video, that will be the next video coming up. And you will see how many kilowatt hours we generated with the two-year uh, um, um, uh, smart meter. If you haven't seen that, go back to my playlist or go to my videos, my recent videos. You will see what I'm talking about. Flip the switch here. Get a charge. It's initializing. See that? It's flashing. So he's trying to sync. Listen to the relay. There you go. So zero out. The power we've been taking, borrowing from the batteries. And now we go into AC power here. So check this out. He's still syncing with the grid. Now look at that. So it's gonna go all the way to 85 or something. And the fan's going to kick in. Started rallying up a little bit. There you go. Fan's going to kick in. So we put in 85.6. There you go. The fans are running now. On a 240. So... I just program it in a way that not to throw more than over 100 because I used to do that. So I want to go with the battery specifications not to throw too much power when charging them. You know, it's okay. So I can regulate that and tell how many amps are supposed to be going through the batteries, you know, cutting them off or increase them. So I just want to put uh, 86 amps going back, 86 and a half amps back to the batteries. So this is what it is. So let's check the voltage and see. 
we rising right now is 28.4 and the amp hours um the st state of charge is going to be heading to 30 pretty soon so guys this is what it is this is what it is live here at the jw solar usa you can see here on the other side because it's powering the load and other things so it says 100 100 amps constant current constant voltage so you see it says 100 amps here on the other side here you're gonna see it's gonna tell you 80 something amps is pushing so the DC amp BMK battery monitor kit so there you go there we go guys this is how you charge your batteries and this is how we uh, the state of charge um, the ba the power that we took from the batteries let's see it's gonna start falling right now there you go I think it was two what 217 or 215 earlier so it's, it's dropping so let's give it in a less than um, about an approximately an hour then this thing is gonna be dropping like flies it's gonna be really fast so that's the only thing I like about it. also one of the things uh, features I like about the uh, about the um, lithiums you can charge them really quick it takes some time sometimes but compared to uh, lead acid we just drop one amp so now it's uh, 211 you can charge the, you know cannot they cannot you know they keep going they they can charge quicker or faster than the uh, the AGM see that when uh, 30 more than the AGM uh, batteries or silicate acid batteries or whatever I call them um, gel gels are very 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 touchy so sorry I didn't open the curtain earlier when I was filming now you can have a clear light I'm sorry the video is gonna be uh, brighter on the end part of it so but this is what it is and uh, gel batteries are really touchy batteries so you have to go with the battery manu uh, manufacturer specifications so if they tell you to put a 35 amps, you don't have to put too much current on them because they're going to be having problems. Okay, so all battery manufacturers just follow the uh, precautions and follow the instructions. And like I said, we, we're we going to be completing the art back soon, but I'm waiting for other things like you guys have seen. Um, this is the May 3 S here and it's going to be incorporated soon on this device. And um, the mid three over there is gonna be out. The FNDC will still stay there. It doesn't matter. FNDC. Then I have the the hub four, and I still have the Magnum, the uh, ME, um, the ARTR router. I'm still working on some programs. I'm still working on things, and uh, you know I wanna do this like I was saying once and for all, get it done the right and perfect way that's supposed to be for anything i don't have to do any upgrade i'm trying to eliminate ha ah, some people say yeah we want to see that jw you, you will never stop so like i said i have to incorporate our breaker here i'm working on things um something maybe this guy <clears throat> is not gonna be here anymore <clears throat> excuse me i'm gonna be having probably this guy is going to be designated to their own section while the outback is going to be taking their own positions. So I cannot go all the way to the top there because the board is going to be probably flimsy or the weight is going to be probably coming this way because they are not attached to the wall. These are mobile stations that's going to be moved, portable, anything you want to do. So I might probably extend on the other side here by my um uh documents cabinets here you know my studio slash studio but now uh, i gotta limit a little bit on studio but we can talk about the studio i got some new stuff for the studio as well which i'm gonna be showing you um some of the uh thing for the mics uh pop filters and uh you see so i'm gonna be doing reviews on these i got a new Package I haven't shown you guys yet. Um, headphones, um, preamps. Of course, here is the the board. 
is a 42 channels. Here is the board. It's a 40 channel big, long. So guys, um, uh, you have to go on my other channels and see what I'm doing because I, I can mix. I don't want to mix uh, my audio production studio into um, other stuff into my YouTube, regular YouTube. So these are the, the stuff right here. That's the brand I have. It's a live production board and you can do a lot of things for live music and all kind of stuff. 40 channels, I can hook up mics and all drums and all kind of stuff into this a full production board, right? Since I have the uh, studio kind of a little bit suspended right now, and the solar thing is taking over because of I don't have much to do like I used to do back then. So I have to make sure um, I cover this one up so that I can have in all kinds of things by putting a shrink wrap and cover up these things so dust can be, you know, the greatest enemy of electronics is dust and humidity. Moisture is one of them. Like and subscribe from Command Center JW Solar USA.